Do you want to make custom colored swim baits? Do you want to be able to make swim baits that nobody else has on the lake? If so, you're in the right place because I'm going to show you how to make swim baits using the dual molds slick shiner mold. Thank you for checking out this video. And today I'm gonna to be showing you one of my favorite molds from Dual Molds, it's the Slick Shiner Mold. I've been making my own tackle for years and this one definitely is one of my favorites. In this video I'm gonna show you how to make swim baits using one color, single color swim baits. And then I'm gonna show you another way to do it where you can get two color swim baits called laminates. And we're gonna be using a dual injector and a blending block to make those. Before we get into making these swim baits, I wanna talk about some of the features of the ESXL Slick Shiner Mold has eight cavities. It's a vertical pour for easy laminates. It comes in at $92, which is a great price point for a mold that makes eight baits. And also the size of this swim bait is three and a half inches. We're about to make these swim baits, but I wanna let you know about what I've got down in the description of today's video. I've got a product list and my Do It Molds affiliate link. So if you guys would need to get any of this equipment that we're talking about in today's video, please use my Do It Molds affiliate link. It's down in the description. It's the only way that they're gonna know that I sent you over to their website. In today's video, we're gonna be using remelts in a nice green pumpkin watermelon style color with a bunch of different flake inside. I think it's a great representation of a bluegill. We're also gonna be using this six ounce injector from Dual Molds. I like using these bigger injectors in the ESXL molds. You just got a lot of cavities, so you need that extra plastic. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drop the Plastisol out of my cup. We're now gonna get this cup out of the way. And we're just gonna have nice even pressure on the way down. I'm gonna hold that pressure at the bottom. You wanna hold it a little bit tighter than you might with your CNC molds, but you don't wanna overdo it and get flashing. In this first color, it's just a single color, but then in the second run of baits, we are going to have a chartreuse and this green pumpkin laminate. I think it's gonna make an even better representation of a bluegill. A lot of times when those bluegill are being chased by some bass, their tails get nice and bright. So I think having that chartreuse in this bait is gonna just brighten everything up and make it look even more natural. Okay, so now it's time to take the clamps off and open up our mold and check out our swim baits. So I think these look really, really good. Great green pumpkin, watermelon color, great representation of a bluegill. I think once we get those sprues off the top, they're gonna to look really, really realistic. So to give you an idea of what we're gonna be making next, we have these two different cups of Plastisol. We have the green pumpkin watermelon color that we just used for our single colors. And now we have our chartreuse that we're gonna be pairing up with it. So the green pumpkin side's gonna be on top and that chartreuse is gonna be on the bottom. I think all said and done, these are gonna look really, really good. In addition to needing those two different colors, you're also gonna need a dual injector in order to make these laminate colored swim baits or these two different color swim baits. You're gonna need the blending block and the dual injector. This is the Do It Molds dual injector along with the Do It Molds blending block. You're gonna to need to draw up both colors and then they go into the blending block right here and that's how you get your laminate colored swim bait. So something else I recommend you guys do is label your molds. You wanna pay attention to what side the top of your bait is going to be so you know what direction you need to set up your blending block when you pour. So as you can see, I got top written right here with an arrow pointing up. So that means this side of the mold is the top of my slick shiner. So my green pumpkin color is going to need to be on the top side of this mold. So the green pumpkin is gonna be on this side, the chartreuse is gonna be on this side. So that way when everything goes into the mold, I get my colors on the right side of the bait. All right, so our two different colors are ready to go. I added some chartreuse colorant to the chartreuse side to brighten it up so that way uh, the green didn't overpower it. So hopefully these turn out well and look good. We're gonna get that dual injector ready to go and start pouring these baits. We've got our dual injector right here. I'm gonna draw up the Plastisol. Draw it all the way up. And then I always like to check for a good flow, which we have. Gotta get these cups out of the way. And then as always, you gotta remember the direction of your blending block, so that way everything ends up being the correct direction inside the mold. You wanna make sure that green pumpkin's on top, that chartreuse is on bottom. Even pressure down. Hold the pressure at the bottom. Then we're gonna to top off our sprue. Go over to the next one. 
Now we may not get all of these because it takes a little bit longer to do these laminates correctly. Everything's nice and cold out right now. So sometimes everything will start to set up before you get a chance to get the whole thing done. So we're just gonna do these until that happens. And if we get to all eight of them, then great. If not, no big deal. From what I can see, it looks like our laminates are turning out well. A lot of times you can get an idea of what's going on in the mold by how evenly everything's coming up out of the sprue. And then right here, as you can see, I got a lot more green pumpkin right here and my chartreuse is off to the side. That means some of the plastisol started to solidify and now I'm not getting even amounts of plastisol inside the mold, so that's why I'm stopping. We're gonna open up our laminate color swim baits right now. I think we have at least four of them that turned out all right. That fifth one may have had issues, not exactly sure. These look like they turned out really well. You have the chartreuse on the bottom the green pumpkin on top. We definitely got a decent laminate out of these. I really like the way these turned out. I think they would definitely be some fish catchers. So we only got four baits the last run. So we're gonna do one more of these laminate colors. Again, we're just gonna drop the plastisol. I don't expect to get a full eight on this run. But I just wanna get a few more baits made. Good flow on it. Get these cups out of the way so you guys can see everything. Got the injectors up there even pressure down. You just need to make sure that your blending block is perfectly straight so that way your laminate is perfectly straight inside your bait. It's time to open up our mold and check out our bait. I know I didn't get all eight cavities poured up, but hopefully we got at least you know four or so that turned out well, which it looks like we did. Get them all situated here so you guys can see them well. Looks like the chartreuse came through well and that green pumpkin came through on a, uh, pretty well on a couple of them. But overall, pretty happy with how those pours went. I think they'll definitely catch some fish. I'm about to show you how I rig these and then also what these baits look like underwater. So make sure you stay all the way till the end so you can get a good idea of the action that these baits provide when you're actually out there on the water fishing them. But first guys, let me know what you guys think of this color combination that I made. The bluegill color, that green pumpkin, solid single color, and then also what you think of the laminate color. I thought both of them turned out pretty good and I think both of them will catch fish. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe if you like this kind of content. And if you've been liking this video, make sure to give it a like as well. So typically when I'm fishing these slick shiners, I'm gonna be fishing them on a ball head jig that I also make with my duet molds. And then I just simply go straight down into the bait and just thread it on. It doesn't take very much to get on there because it's a small hook on this. And then you simply just pull it all right out. And there you go. Slick shiner on a duet mold ball head jig, ready to go catch some fish. The first thing I want to know is how much tail action this slick shiner has. It also has a nice wobble as it goes through the water column while maintaining that kicking action. And it also sits very, very straight on the jig head. This dual mold slick shiner mold is an awesome one. I think it's definitely one that you should have in your tackle making lineup. The action on these is great underneath the water as well. If you guys need any tackle making supplies, make sure to use the link that is down in the description to dual mold so that way they know that I sent you. And if you wanna see another swim bait mold in action called the Ripper swim bait mold, you wanna see me making some baits with that, make sure to click the video that's on the screen right now and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.